Now, as I've stated at least a thousand times on this channel, I have no artistic abilities whatsoever, and the proof is my channel logo. Here it is. I've had it since the channel began, and I really want to create a new one, so I sat down and I created this one. And hopefully uh, you like it. I think it's much nicer than the old one. It's a little steampunky. So in this video, I'm going to show you how I created this one and how you can create your own logo for your workshop or business, or even if you have your own YouTube channel. So with that, let's get started. Hey, it's Steve, welcome back. Now, I want to keep this video short, but I'll, I'll start by saying building a logo is pretty important for any business. It's used on all kinds of marketing collateral, like letterhead, email footers, business cards, key tags, you, you name it, it's everywhere. And you want something that's simple, doesn't have a million colors, uh, and, and really, as much as I have no ability to do this, it was actually pretty simple for me to create the one I showed you there at the beginning. And I'll show you in this video how to create your own. And we'll use Kittle because Kittle has an AI capability specifically for building logos and it works pretty nicely. It's not perfect, but it'll get you 90% of the way and you can you can kind of jump that last 10%. And I'll show you uh, how, to, how to do that. And that's probably all the context we need to get started. So let's get going and I'll fire up Kittle and we'll start our own logo. And here we are in Kittle and you'll be shocked at how easy this is. Uh, uh, we're starting from the main page and Kittle, most of the people who use Kittle are t-shirt designers and graphic designers and, and that sort of, sort of group of people. We as makers aren't those people and somebody uh, who was trying out Kittle from a previous video I did asked about all of these things you can start with. And these are just starting templates and whether you have to start from one of those, and the answer, of course, is no. We can just go up to up to the toolbar here and we can just say new project. And what we get is a project uh, settings that we can select and we can pick a size from a bunch of defaults here. Uh, maybe you're building something for a Facebook post. Uh, I'm building a logo, so I, I like this 1200 by 1200. But if I didn't want that, I can change it here. And I can also change things like the the pixel density if I'm making something for print I it needs to be 300 dots per inch typically uh, anyway we'll create that now again we're faced with a bunch of options here that Kittle's trying to entice us with we're not going to use any of those what we're going to do is click this bottom button and we're going to go to the AI section and you can see a bunch of things here uh, this is for for image generation and I did a previous video on that and I'll put a link up in the corner if you want to go watch it. We're going to use this new thing over here called Logo Generator. And it is in beta. I'll, I'll put that footnote there, which means it's not perfect, but it has gotten a lot better over the last little while. But we'll select that, and it's going to start us by saying, hey, oh, you're building a logo. Here's a couple of samples. And you can see what these are. And if you hover over them, you'll actually see the query that was used to generate them. Now, you've run this query 100 times, you're gonna get 100 different logos. So this just happened to be the one they generated. Uh, I'm gonna do my own, and we have our fake business called Bob's Tools. So I'm gonna say, create a logo for a workshop business called Bob's tools and it's really that simple and we can hit OK and we can send Kittle off to do some work for us and in about I don't know five ten seconds it'll come up with a bunch of logos that it thinks are okay for us and if we click on these we can look at them uh, this isn't quite what I was looking for I really want one that's round so I can just go and modify my query and say I want a round logo for Bob's tools and if I could type it would actually say round and I'll just run that again and this time I'll say most of the, the logos I've asked for will be round. They're, they'll have curves in them, suffice it to say. Uh, so it actually found three already. Uh, well, in this case, it actually generated four, which is kind of cool. So if we want to start for, for makers, we want something really simple. So fairly monochrome colors, uh, not too complex. And we'll start with this one. It, it's really not what we want. We certainly don't want a pistol, a piston in there because we're a woodworking business. So 
we can we we can start from this and we'll modify it and you'll see there's a bunch of things that got generated i didn't ask it for a byline it just assumed i wanted one i didn't ask it for a start date uh, but we can then go and modify any of these so maybe bob's tool started in 2007 and uh, maybe this isn't the font we want so i'm going to go pick something else uh, and kittle has thousands of fonts it seems uh, we'll just grab one uh, this audio nugget looks kind of cool and once we have it we can then go and resize it so maybe it's too big we can we can play with the character spacing a bit so we can tighten it up and it's actually changing there. Now, the most obvious thing here is we don't want this piston. So let's go get rid of that. And the way we'll, we'll solve that problem is we'll go over to the image uh, elements and we can actually search for something. So I'll search for, uh, let's say saw blades and it found a, a bunch of them here. Uh, I'll pick, this one's actually kind of cool. Now, I, what I want to do is I want to replace this one. So it's a simple case of picking, actually I'm gonna pick a monochrome saw here. There's a couple that are just black and white. We'll pick this one. And you'll see as soon as I hover over it, it says, it says replace. So if I click on it, it'll just insert it. If I replace it, it'll replace the one that's there. And of course, it's in the wrong orientation, so we can we can just rotate it. Now, the other thing we can do is, uh, if we all agree that this yellow color is pretty terrible for any kind of logo, uh, we could make it white, we can change it to something. Uh, if we're printing, maybe we want something that's like a lighter blue. We'll change the saw here as well notice when i selected it it shows me up here all of the colors that are involved in that image and i want this to be much lighter and that's it all right so now we have our logo it's it's suitable for printing so if you if you want to do uh, paper business cards color or a letterhead or just put this uh, as a, a footer in your emails you can certainly do that but if we're doing engraving, which is what a lot of us do, this probably won't work because, for example, the blue color will probably be a detriment to, to engraving. It'll come out as some shade of gray and it'll look potentially a bit weird. Now, what Kittle allows you to do, because this is an artboard, uh, what I want to do is create a variation of this specifically for engraving. So if I select the artboard and I hold down the Alt or Option key, depending on which computer you're using, uh, I can just grab this and drag a new copy over. And now you see I have two copies. So for this one where I'm doing engraving, what I wanna do is turn off this blue color and I can either make it white just like that or I can just turn off the color completely, which I'll, I'll do here. And then I also have to fix this saw because I really want just black and white here. So what I'll do is I'll make a border that's black around the saw and I'll just make it really thin. It doesn't have to be very big. And now that I have it there, you can see all I can do, or all I have to do now is I'll, I'll just turn off the, the fill color. And now we have a completely monochrome. It was really easy to create and you can see how it, it was derived from, from the original. And with this, I can now take this and I of course can export this as a, a PNG or leave it as an SVG file, which is great for light burn. And, and then I can use this for any time I want to engrave and it'll come out great. So now I'll, I'll just cut away from this and go to a different project that I have where I've been doing some work for, uh, for someone I know. They, they run a big Dungeons and Dragons tournament and this will give you kind of a feel what you can do with the logo generator. So what I did was I generated a bunch of logos and I sent them off to him and said, hey, do you like any of these? And of course the answer was no, they're all terrible. So, uh, but, but one of them I liked and uh, I just did a few modifications to it. These ones uh, coming, out are coming out of Kittle are essentially untouched, but this one is 
similar in sort of format it was that the ai tool generated but i changed a lot of things so i didn't like the border it had kind of a, a, a jaggy border around the outside and i just again used that replace option to replace the the background to to this one which is more uh and, and let me just zoom in here which is more i'll say medieval retro we're going for that gothic kind of thing i changed the fonts because he wanted a, more of a gothic or old english font and i didn't like the image it put in the background it was essentially this castle so i replaced it and uh, changed the background color to get complementary he wanted red text so we have kind of a complementary color set here so even though i used kittle ai to generate the logo initially I then modified it pretty heavily to get something that was more appealing to, to the customer. And uh, you can even do things like I, I selected the text, which was normally straight across. And I put it on, I changed the, tr the, the style, the trans transformation of this to a wave. And you can see it kind of, kind of goes up in a curve. So very powerful. You can do lots of interesting things. But I do essentially have all of these that were generated from AI and then decided he didn't like the ninja and the tower. He didn't like this tower, so I replaced it with a better one. So very easy to use AI as a starting point for your logo and then modify. Or if you're, if you're happy, you'll, you'll get a logo that you want the first time. Anyway, with that, I'll put, I'll put a, a link to Kittle down in the description below if you're interested in playing with this. Uh, go to it. Uh, it isn't an affiliate link, just so you know. Kittle it isn't giving me a kickback on, on these if you go get a Kittle license. But you will see my tracking information in there. And that's really just so the Kittle folks know that you're coming from my channel. And, uh, you know, I guess I'll get a handshake or something at the end of it. But, uh, but it, it's there. And if you do uh, subscribe, well, that's all on you and Kittle. It really has nothing to do with me. I don't make any money off your subscription. And, uh, but go give it a try if you just want to play around. And uh, with that, I'll wind down and I'll say, use the logo generator and get out there and make your world. And I'll see you next time.